Greetings, Louisiana United Methodists. I'm making final preparations to head to Portland for General Conference 2016. Now, General Conference meets every four years. I know that sounds a little odd, but we meet every four years. And that is the only body, General Conference is the only body that can make decisions on behalf of the United Methodist Church. So these are important times for all of us. I head there on Sunday because bishops always have meetings before the meetings. But I also know that as we stand on the eve of General Conference that I know anxieties are running pretty high. They are for all of us. There's some important decisions facing the church. There's the issue of budgets. There's the issue of term limits for bishops, guaranteed appointments, and yes, even human sexuality. But there's so much more than that. I want to remind you United Methodists in Louisiana of the, what we said was one of our core values and perhaps our most important core value. We said that we would hold nothing sacred but the mission, and that's to make disciples of Jesus Christ for the transformation of the world. I need you to hold on to that more than ever during these times. Because whatever happens or doesn't happen in Portland, we're still about the mission. We're still about the mission of making disciples for Jesus Christ. We know that there are still going to be people in Louisiana that need to hear the good news of Jesus Christ. Children will still need to be fed. Our overcrowded prisons will still need folk who visit those that are incarcerated. And yes, the sick will need to be healed. So I'll remind you once again of our preferred future. We said that we would be faith communities in Louisiana that would lead people to an abundant life in Christ, that we would engage in the community in significant ways, that we would learn, live, and tell the gospel story, and that we'd reach out and draw in people from all walks of life, resulting in vital, vibrant, and alive congregations. So friends, nothing that happens in Portland is gonna change that because you will continue to be the church You'll continue to focus on those things that are important to the lives of people in your community. You will continue to be more than any of us could ever ask or imagine. So regardless of the debates in Portland, I'm counting on you to be the church because we're more. We are more than whatever happens in Portland. Whatever debates happen at General Conference, we are more. So in the weeks ahead, here in the next three weeks, I'm gonna to try to stay in touch with you during General Conference. I'll be sending back texts and video and I'll try to communicate as much as I can and I'll still try to pay attention during those important proceedings, but I might even send you a tweet or a text or something uh, in between so that you know what's going on. Because I'm counting on you. I am counting on you to be what Louisianans have always known to be. You have said many times to me that when you don't know what to do, you know what to do. And that means that you are the church. That's what you know what to do. That's what you know how to do. So I'm counting on you for that. But most importantly, in these weeks ahead, I'm gonna ask you to pray. Pray, pray, and pray some more. Pray that there will truly be holy conferencing that happens during General Conference, that we will have respectful and fruitful conversation because we are more. We are more than any of the discussions or the debates. We are more. So I'm gonna invite you to go to wearemore.faith. There you will learn, hear, read stories, incredible stories of God's movement in the lives of our people, our congregations. You will learn how the Spirit is moving amongst us. It will be a wonderful way for us to continue to stay focused on the mission. So again, I'm counting on you to pray, and I'm counting on you to be the church.